And Nigel and Paul were, you know, again, I've been so lucky to be in that show with them. And the fact that we uh, became great friends is a, is a bonus, really. And Margaret Thatcher is a fan too. Is that well, you know, I think she was a fan of Yes Minister. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, she goes, I, th I think she believed it was her government. <laughs> but when, it well. when he became Prime Minister, Hacker, mm. I think she went off the whole idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The I truth will out, you see. But they did a sketch with her. I didn't. I was on tour in a play. And they went to record a sketch that she'd written. And uh, I thought they had a lot of nerve to do that, mm. but they did. I don't think they enjoyed themselves very much. But anyway, that's uh, showbiz. And talking of showbiz, I mean, Mr. Derek. Well, only very, oh, no, only, only very old people remember. People who are above a certain age. Yes. Present company. Well, you said to just me, creeping in. You were five when I started. <laughs> yeah. I didn't well, say five well, what though. I didn't quite say. No, that. but uh, yeah, I, as I said, it was a five years of again joy. You, were, you only did the, you did the first series, you said. Then went well, I, I did the first series and I thought, no, I, I'm a classically trained actor. What the hell am I doing with my hand around a bit of fur and looking in buttons and pretending this is real? I thought, no, I can't do this. Hmm. So I went off to play Hamlet, which uh, a London critic said it was the funniest Hamlet he'd seen in 25 years. <laughs> and I thought, God, what hmm. am I doing wrong? Anyway, praise is praise. They, they praise is praise. It. It's best to be talked about. It? But uh, <laughs> anyway, um, uh, they asked me to do another series, and I hummed and hard and thought, "Oh God!" And I had two young boys, and, and I went back, and it was that, it was that second series that something quite strange and magical happened. Mm. I, I I I put my arm around her. A bit of fur and it became a tail. And I, I looked into these buttons and they became eyes. And Basil Brouch became my best pal. And when I left five years later, I had withdrawal symptoms. I really missed him. We did eight series together and two Royal Command performances. Amazing. And if you believe that, you believe that no, it's true. That is absolutely true. I, I, I so love that show mm. and the kids. And uh, and it's the closest I've ever been to being a sex symbol. Okay. It's true. Yeah. <clears throat> you had longer hair then? I had long hair and I had cowboy boots and various tops I thought were a bit over the top. But yeah, and... Uh, yeah, it was special. They've all gone now, sadly. Uh, mm. The writer and Ivan, who looked after Basil. Even Basil now is gone. He's in a suitcase somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you mustn't laugh. I'm not with that chesty cough. I know, I've had this cough. But I'm now on antibiotics, so that is my excuse. So any, any day, hopefully, by the end of the week, I'll be... Back, fit fit. back to my juvenile self. And then going to revisit some of the old heartbeat roots? A bit of a trip you've got planned? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm coming up to my 81st birthday. Not many people believe that. Under these lights, though, it's, it's probably 41st. Very, very happy. That's what I'm thinking. Well, I'm going to believe you until I see it, then I might change. We but, can do uh, wonders on the computer now. Good. Yeah. Yes, thank you. No makeup. Um, so I'm going back to Gothland where we yeah. shot. And where I stayed for 18 years. The hotel is now very upmarket, but I've told them that I'm on my way and uh, just going up for two days to have a quiet 81st. Because last year my 80th was a, you know, took me about a week to recover from that. I can imagine. But no, it'll be lovely to go back. Mm. I have been back since two or three times, and uh, yeah, it's a special place. 
Are you going to take the play out again with Donald? It well, going, like... going back on stage was, was quite a challenge and, and I realised that when I was on, I really enjoyed it. Mm. It was a very funny play. I loved working with Donald again uh, after all those years. And because uh, we met when I was 18 and he was 22. And uh, now he's 80. I think he's 85 now. God. I'm 81. So, yeah, and it worked for us. It wasn't easy to get on, but once... Once they shoved you on. Once they shoved us on and we were yeah. sitting there and we heard the audience getting quieter and quieter. And then the curtains opened and we thought, God, what have we done? Geez, why are we doing this? <laughs> And then Doctor Theatre, as you said in the interview, kicks in. Kicks in. And they laughed. And you're off. And they clapped. And it is a very funny piece. And I think Donald and I, you know, would would love to, maybe next year, do it again. So it's like a one act play. Two old yeah, guys. Yeah, so it only lasts forty five minutes. So we need to find a companion piece uh, to go with it. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, two old guys sitting in a pub getting slowly, slowly sozzled, talking about life, love, death, marriage, sex, memory loss, etc, etc. And then all those again, because you'd forgotten what you talked about. Yes, this. and then one of us forgot and there was a prompt from the corner and people thought that was part of the play. <laughs> <laughs> so we might keep that in. Wow. No, it was a... Uh, it gets a laugh. It was a love. It was lovely to go to France and mm. and to see Donald and, you know, his, his wife Emma and stay with him. and Yeah, so, as I say, it was the first time on stage for 16, was it 17 years? So. Damn it, man. That's what you were trained to do. Rada. Yeah, theater, yeah. Like all those theater. years ago, that's all we yeah. trained for was for the theatre. We never thought about film or telly. We never wanted to be famous. No, no. Didn't know what that was. And I'm not, so it doesn't matter. There you go. Glad to be working. <laughs> oh dear, I will get well one day. You will, and the antibiotics will kick in. And look, Derek, thank you ever so much for doing the interview for the documentary. Thank well, you for doing this little production well, diary for us for the, for pleasure, the film. Pleasure. And uh, look forward to seeing you in the, the two header one act play. Yeah. Very, very soon. Yeah. Well, next year. Next year. If I'm still here. Yeah, Tish. Of course you will. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Thanks very much. It's been a joy. Mm -hmm.